The November 2019 firmware updates for the Panasonic Lumix S1, S1R, GH5, GH5S, and G9 have been released. I'm Photo Joseph, I'm a Lumix ambassador, and I'm gonna show you how to update your cameras. If you haven't already seen what's included in the updates, I'm not gonna go over that now because I made a long, very detailed, almost 20 minute long video about this last week that you should definitely check out. I'll link to it up here or down below. So if you haven't seen that yet, do watch that just so you know everything that's going into the updates. Today, we're gonna update two cameras. I'm gonna update an S1 and a G9. And on G9, I'm gonna actually add the Vlog L update to it as well. So if you have an S1 or an S1R, you're gonna to wanna to follow that procedure. If you have the G9, GH5 or GH5S, follow the G9 procedure. It's the same for all those cameras. And of course, the Vlog update, if that's new for you for a GH5, then you'll learn how to update it there as well. Again, same procedure. It's included in the GH5S, and of course, it is now available for the G9. We'll start with the S1. The first thing you wanna check is that you have at least a 50% full battery. On the S series, you need 50% battery to update. On the G series, you wanna have it pretty much close to full to do the update. Next up, take your SD card, pop that in, and reformat it. On the S-Series, you can use either an SD card or an XQD card for the update. Do be sure that you format the card in the camera immediately prior to updating. It just ensures that your card is totally clean and there's nothing else on there that might interfere. Go ahead and take the card out and pop that into your computer. I've linked the webpage that you wanna visit in the description below. And when you get to this page, click on the full frame tab. And then under here, you'll see camera body S, S1, and there's version 1.3 released today, November 19th, 2019. Click on the button that says click to the download page. And from here, you'll see that there's the download button. We'll go ahead and get that started. And while we're here, you'll see that there is a page that'll take you to a full procedure for the update. This is what I'm gonna go over here, but you're of course free to read that if you'd like. And then underneath that, it shows you all of the updates that are included here. Once it's downloaded, it is possibly going to unzip. It just depends on your computer system, whether it unarchives itself or not. Ultimately, the file that you need to have is a .bin file. The .bin is the final piece. Don't try to extract it past that, and don't try to use the .zip. The .bin is what you want. Copy this to the root level of your SD card, and eject the card. Turn off your camera. It's important at this stage that your camera is off before you insert the card and start the update process. Go ahead and insert that SD or XQD card. Turn the camera back on. If you don't have a lens attached, you might see this dialog come up that tells you to confirm the focal length of the lens that you have attached. It's if you have a manual lens attached, you can just bypass this. Just go ahead and hit no to change it. Press the menu button navigate to the bottom of the wrench menu where it says others, and then over to firmware version. If at this point the firmware update is not available, all you have to do is power the camera off and back on again. I ran into this a few times when running the updates, and I think I might have to do with poking around in the menu beforehand. For example, even just navigating from the format menu. But now that I'm here, if I go ahead and power the camera off and back on, go into the menu, now it will be available. Go ahead and select firmware update. It'll confirm the version that it's going to do up to version 1.3. Navigate to yes and start it. At this point, don't touch the camera. Don't touch any buttons, just let it be. Let it do its thing. It may take a little while to complete. It took my camera this many minutes to finish, but once it's done, the camera will automatically reboot. And if you want to check the version, go ahead back into firmware version. And under software info, you'll see body version of 1.3. And that's all there is to it. All right, let's go ahead now and update the G9. And update the G9. Pardon the interruption, but I promise you it's worth it. I've just learned that the Black Friday slash holiday sale deals have already begun. And the G9 is now on sale for under $1,000. Look at this. Let's go over to b and 998 for the G9. Amazon.com, $9.98. Adorama, $9.98. Same price everywhere. You'll find this in your local reseller as well. $9.98 for this camera right now. Add the Vlog update for another 100 bucks and you've got an incredible camera. This isn't the only deal though. Also, if you look over on Amazon, 
for G85, you'll find a kit with a free 45 to 150. So that's the G85 with the 12 to 60. Now that's not the Leica 12 to 60, but it's you know, still a good lens. And it includes a free 45 to 150 millimeter lens. You'll see the same deal over on Adorama. I'm not seeing this deal yet on B&H, although I'm sure it'll show up there as well. And then one of my favorite little cameras, one of my all time favorites, is the GX85. And you're also getting a two lens kit for this, the 12 to 32 and the 45 to 150 for just $448. That is on B&H, that is also over here on Amazon and also over here on Adorama. That little GX85 is a teeny tiny little compact camera. I absolutely adore it. It's still one of my favorite travel cameras. If you're not looking for a microphone input or you know the end all be all vlogging camera, but you want something compact that's awesome for travel photography, for 550 bucks, it's pretty hard to beat. Now again, Again, this is the holiday special sale. It has started now. It is the 20th of November, 2019. I have no idea how long this sale is gonna go on for. I've been told it is just a holiday special. No end date set, the least that I know of. Maybe it's through Christmas, maybe not. Don't really know, but that's what's available today. So check that out. All right, let's get back to the show. All right, let's go ahead now and update the G9. The G9 update procedure is actually a bit easier because all you have to do once you copy the update file on is hit the play button, but let's take a look. As I mentioned before, make sure that you have a full or nearly full battery to do this update, and then go ahead and insert your SD card. Give that card a fresh format, and then pop that into your computer. To get to this update, click on the Micro Four Thirds tab and scroll down and look for the one that you're updating. If it's the G9, you'll find it right here. And if you're updating your GH5 or GH5S, you'll find those up near the top. Click on the Click to the Download page button and start the download. Scroll down to see all the updates that are being included here. And if you want to, you can click here to read the procedure page. Once again, once it's downloaded, it will possibly automatically unzip. It is the .bin file that you ultimately want not anything below that. Don't try to extract the .bin, and of course, don't try to use the .zip. Make sure it is a .bin file. Copy that once again to the root level of your SD card. Eject that. And as before, turn off the camera first. Insert the SD card. Turn the camera on. Again, you may see this dialog if you don't have a lens attached, and press play. The camera will scan the card looking for the update file, and once it finds it, it'll offer to start the update. As before, make sure you don't touch anything on the camera while it's being updated. Don't press any buttons, don't turn it off, don't pick it up and play with it, just leave it alone. Once it's completed, the camera will automatically reboot, and if you want to verify that the firmware update was completed, press the menu button and scroll up until you get to version display. And there we can see we're now in version 2.0. And that's all there is to it. Now let's take a look at how to install the Vlog update. But first let's talk about how to get the Vlog update. The Vlog L update is a paid upgrade that you have to buy from a retail store. And curiously, even though it is just a number that you're getting, you do actually have to take physical delivery of the number. I know that sounds crazy, but let me repeat that. If you wanna buy the Vlog L update, you're gonna to have to go to Amazon, B&H, or any other store that sells it. And of course I'll link below to where you can get it. And place the order and they will ship you a piece of paper that has a long digit code on there that you need for the update. Now, some stores will actually open the packaging for you, take a picture of it and send that to you so that you can have it right away. And then they'll still send you the physical card. You just have to ask your reseller. And I found certainly that smaller, more hometown stores versus the big ones will take care of that for you. Obviously, Amazon's not gonna do that, but your local camera store might. I actually don't know if B&H will do that or not, but it's worth asking. Anyway, let's take a look at how to get it in the first place. If, for example, you wanted to get it from B&H, just go to the B&H website and search for SFU1. That's Software Firmware Upgrade 1 or something. Actually, I'm not really sure what that stands for, but close enough. Search for that, and there it is. Panasonic Vlog L function activation code. Now you'll notice, depending on when you look at this, that it currently says for the GH4, GH5, and FZ2500. It is not, at the time of this recording, listing the G9. Now, again, this was just updated today, so all the resellers are gonna to need to update their web pages, but it is the SFU one that you want. That is the correct update, even though it doesn't say it on here. To update the camera, go to this web page, which once again, I will link to down below. 
titled How to Activate Purchased Function of Lumix. If you scroll down, you'll see there's two different SFUs on here. There's the SFU1 and an SFU41. I'm not actually sure what camera that was for. And underneath that, you'll see instructions for the SFU2. That was the update for the S1 that came out earlier this year. But we're focusing on this one here, the SFU1. So if you click on that, it'll take you to another web page, giving you instructions on how to update it. Now, I will admit that the pictures on this web page are very old. They're actually pictures of a GH4, I believe, with a much older operating system, but the procedure is the same. So here's what we do. First, you go to the camera, and under the setup menu, which is the wrench, go to activate, which is currently at the top of page 405. Click that, and then click export serial code. This is going to export this serial number in a special format to the SD card. That file will then need to be uploaded to the Panasonic website. Once that's done, go ahead and turn off the camera, pop out the card, and put that into your computer. Once the card's in the computer, you can select the correct file. It's this one here called serial.lst on the SD card and upload it to the website. To do that, click on choose file, navigate to the SD card, and then you can see the path listed down here. Private, PANA, GRP, PAVC, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll go into private, PANA GRP, PAVC, Lumix, ACTV, and then finally serial.lst. Choose that and click upload. Now you have to enter in the key code that you got from the store. I'm just gonna paste mine in, I've already got it on the clipboard, and then click on register. At that point, it's ready to go. You can now save to memory card your key code. Go ahead and allow that to download. The next step is to copy this active.lst file into the camera. To do that, you do have to navigate to the same place where the serial number was on the card and drop in the activate file there. So go ahead and open the card, open private, PanaGRP, PAVC, Lumix, ACTV, and then copy the file here. Eject the card, pop that back into your camera. Turn the camera on, navigate to the activate menu and choose import activation code. That's it, turn the camera off and back on again. And now if you're in the movie mode, press the Q menu button and under styles, you'll see that you now have Vlog L. And that's all there is to it. Now your G9, GH5, GH5S, S1, or S1R are fully updated to the latest firmware. And of course, if you installed the Vlog L update on your G9, then you're ready to start shooting log. Now, I would imagine that a lot of G9 users may not be familiar with how to shoot log. So I'm actually gonna do a video on that sometime in the next couple of weeks. I'm gonna show you how to expose for log because it is a little bit different show you basically what you can do with the footage, the differences and advantages of shooting in log. And we'll also take a brief look at how to grade or color correct in log. There's a lot of extra steps that you have to do when you're shooting log, and it's not always worth it, but when you need it, it is absolutely worth doing. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can catch that video when it comes out in just a few weeks. I'm Photo Joseph, again, a Lumix ambassador. Thanks for watching today, and we'll see you next time.